Okay guys, enjoying watching us react to these Naruto clips? If so, please use the link in the video's description and support Masashi Kishimoto and all official Naruto releases. Thanks guys! Okay guys, I'm getting kind of jacked up. Looks like we're getting set for part three of the tuning exams. This, um, I, I really like the whole, I, I think I mentioned this to you guys already because <laughs> guess what, sometimes I forget things, but I think I already mentioned the fact that the way this struck me was almost like one of the old school Bruce Lee Kung Fu movies in, in that it's going to be tournament style, I guess, coming up. is It is a tournament, right? It's not just, in, yeah, it's almost got to be, can't be. I don't think it's just individual one-on-one -on -one matchups, but in any event, all I know is the fights are about to begin, and having seen that shot of that hall uh, where the, the gang was earlier, that looked familiar to me from the Rock Lee Gara fight, so th this is where it's going to turn good. Nobody's going to wear like um, a bumblebee stripe costume and do this during the fight and everything, because you really shouldn't completely rip off Bruce Lee. Although, if somebody did do that, I'd get a little boner because I'd recognize it and th yeah, think it was cool. Let's, let's find... Oh, and my girl, Anko, too. I don't know what that Orochimaru hickey is going to do to her, but I like her. And I don't even care that somebody told me that later on in the series she gets really thick. Now I'm actually looking forward to that. Now, for the time being, we'll just continue with the exams as planned. But I also want to keep an eye on his movements as well. And like I asked yesterday... Yes. It was because of they had more people complete um, the Forest of Death segment, right? Isn't that why they had to do things differently this time First with their of preliminary all, congratulations round? Congratulations on finishing the second exam. Huh. There were 78 ninja who took that exam. Frankly, I'm surprised that even 21 passed. I knew that less than half would make it, but I really thought the number would be in the single digits. <laughs> Should have more faith in them. I like her voice. I, I like her voice actress too. And then one of you guys will say, "No, dude, it's a, a dude doing a girl voice." <laughs> I'm really hungry. What a drag! There's so many left. Oh, gee. This is such a pain. <laughs> Sasuke and his team have passed too. Well, of course they did. <laughs> After all the trouble we went through to keep them safe, they better have passed. <laughs> I see your team. Jeez, there's an awful, <laughs> there's an awful lot of Sasuke going, going on. Keep them safe. <laughs> they better have passed. And poor old Bushy Brow. I see your team didn't do too bad, Kakashi. They must have gotten real lucky. He's got no. Of course, with my team still around, your team is doomed to failure. After all, what matters on the next test is ability, and we've got you far outclassed. Well, I guess a part of growing up is learning to deal with heartbreak, huh, Kakashi? Wow. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> David Bowie wasn't listening. <laughs> all right, Kakashi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know, I know, I laugh too easy, but the overreactions in anime are awesome to me. I love <laughs> losing his mind. Say something. <laughs> Chill, guy, sensei. <laughs> All right, Kakashi, you win this round. Boy, that drives me nuts when you act so cool. There's no way I'm gonna let you get the best of me. So that's Guy Sensei's old rival, huh? Oh, well, if good. I had to judge them on looks alone, I'd say Guy Sensei would lose. Guy Sensei is just the coolest teacher ever. I mean, he is so cool. He practically glows with Every cool. bushy brow dude gets dissed by the Guy ladies. Sensei. Someday I'll make you proud of me. <laughs> I like Lee. I like most of the characters in this series. I do not want to see tears from anyone close to me ever again. He is all about honor. That is why I am never going to lose again, Guy Sensei. Standing up for his friends. I mean, that's admirable. I like that. Here. Sasuke Uchiha. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta back that up a little though because I was talking over part of one here. As expected, all the best are here. Oh, all the best are here. Sasuke Uchiha. Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, I'll get you back for what, what you about Naruto Uzumaku? No matter what it takes. Yes, I know. I can't believe it. Only 
17's out of 26 left. Sure enough, not a scratch on you, Gara. Yeah, Gara's. Okamaru's acting strange. Sand Village Ninja. Naruto passed too. Thank goodness. Hey, look. She's cute, All the Nara. Wolf Village rookies are here too. Whoa, everybody's here. Old man Hokage, Uruka Sensei, and even Bushy Brow. It looks like absolutely nobody got left out this time. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I don't have a very good feeling about this. Come on, you got it, it's Sasuke. It's hard to believe that there are so many left after the second test. And so many of them are rookies. So that the only thing now is you guys know how much I just love little Karibo, but every time I see this dude now, all I can think of is Joe Hokage. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> and so many of them are rookies. So that's why they fought so hard to recommend them. All right, now pay attention. Lord Hokage attention. is going to explain the third exam to you. You better listen carefully, maggots. Lord Hokage, they're all yours. Mm. Anko's the first drill instructor I ever <clears throat> saw and wanted to touch inappropriately. First, before I tell you what the third exam entails, I want to explain okay, something about the test itself. Listen closely now. It's something that all of you need to understand. I'm going to tell you the true purpose of these exams. True purpose? Why do you suppose our country holds these exams in conjunction with our allies? Mm. <laughs> to raise the ability levels of the shinobi and increase friendship between allied nations, to be sure. But it's important that you understand its true meaning. The exams are, so to speak... Um... So to speak? <sighs> They're a representation of the battle between allied nations. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? Now, if we look at our history... All the countries that we're currently... Okay, wait a second. Before he goes on, I just want to... So, basically... And I'm guessing here, because I, I just like doing that. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on. I know I will find out. So, is what he's saying that, basically, these contests take the place of wars between allies, allowing them to remain allies? I, again, that's just... That's what I got from that bit so far. I'm just curious to see if, if that's actually what he's saying. Now, if we look at our history... All the countries that we're currently allied with were once neighboring nations that continuously fought with each other for power. In order to avoid destroying each other's military strength meaninglessly, those nations picked champions to do battle on okay, so that is basically it. at a mutually selected That's kind of location. Cool. That was how the Chunin selection exams originally began. Well, that's great, but why do we have to go through these exams then? I mean, it's not like we're doing this to pick Chunin to go fight. Well, actually, there is no question that part of the point of these exams is to select shinobi worthy of becoming Chunin. That's just not the whole story. These exams uh -huh. also allow for a place where shinobi can carry the pride of their nation on their backs and fight against other ninja for their very lives. The pride of their nation? Many That's leaders cool. and people of prominence from various countries are invited to attend this exam as guests. This is very possibly to Bruce Lee is to plot this exam and that's a will determine the course of your ninja work from here on out. And more importantly, those rulers will watch your battles and take note of the strengths that each ninja and each nation is developing. If there is a gap in power between the countries, the strong nations are inundated with job requests for their ninja. And conversely, the requests to countries that are deemed weak decline. Therefore, the stronger our nation is, the better our position when it comes to negotiating with neighboring countries. This is so like this setup. To show how much I really do. Strength our village has. Okay, but even so, why is it necessary for us to risk our lives? The country's strength is the village's strength. The village's strength is the shinobi's strength. Dude, yeah, come on, dude, that was part of the shinobi obvious. is only achieved when it's pushed to its limits, such as in a life and death battle. Mm -hmm. This is a chance for each nation to display the strength of its shinobi and hence the strength of the nation itself. It's because this is an exam where your life is on the line that it has meaning. And it's for this very reason and for the strength of the nation that your forerunners fought in this exam. It's truly a dream worth striving Double for. Kagi can do a pregame speech. I'm but Jack. I, did you use the expression friendship before? But you've only remembered half of what I said. You also mustn't have the wrong idea of the exam's meaning. 
This is a custom in which balance is preserved by fighting and dying. In the world of the Shinobi, that that's is always encouraging when you're about to the third take example part. Is a fight for life with the pride of your village and your own dreams at stake. <laughs> well, he sure convinced me. <laughs> Any test is fine. Just tell me what the details of the exam are already. I can handle anything you throw at me. Mm. Very well. All right, you're a party, now, dude. Closely. I'm going to tell you exactly what you'll all be doing on the third exam. I don't think he goes like spring break and stuff and wears a speedo and Lord Hokage, steal stripper tops. Do, please allow me, Hayate Gecko, appointed as proctor of the third exam, to speak first. So be it. It's nice to meet you all. <laughs> There's something I would like all of you <coughs> to do before the third exam. You guys, I found too healthy. <laughs> Get me a respirator. Give me a mouth to mouth. Do chest compressions on me, because you're not sounding good, dude. Dude. Do. Do. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I can't. I, now I can't wait for these fights to start. Joe Hokage got Joe Hokage got me kind of jacked up. There is definitely something wrong with him. Oh, I wish he'd just drop out. He's I just like watching a little snippet. Yeah, it. yeah. Th th this is good. Shit. Oh man, this this is fun. I, like I said, I I like how in depth they they really. Uh, and I'd said it before. It's just like the storytelling. I always encourage the young guys to do in wrestling. I like that there's a good solid story, a good reason to be rooting for certain things in this. These backstories are awesome. You know what I wonder too is um. I've got a lot of things I'm wondering that I'm really looking forward to finding out in the fights. Now, of course, I, I saw Rock Lee Gara, but Gara is one of the really interesting ones to me. Well, obviously, because he just walked through the second test without a scratch and in record time. And we know what he does to Rock Lee, so I'm, I'm really curious to see how he gets taken down. What I'm interested to find out, too, is the way I'm seeing it, at least at this point, and again, all I know of Naruto is to this point, Naruto's strengths are untold, right? Because we don't know exactly what that Nine Tails Fox is capable of when it comes out in him. And I know now the the risk is that the Nine Tails Fox is what what I understood can is dangerous because it could actually overtake everything about him and maybe turn him evil, whatever the case may be. But we have no idea just how strong he might be. And that whole thing in the forest was pretty cool. When you've used all your chakra, given absolutely everything you've got, over five days, kicking the shit out of everything, and then you're still fucking dancing and shit. Naruto's, Naruto's pretty cool. But like I said, now he might be at spring break stealing a stripper top, but Gara wouldn't be with him.